short video of the Simrex drone X300C and how to get it flying because I struggled a little bit but the box is nice and small this is a compact drone first one I've ever had I had my grandkids get it for me for Christmas you can scan this and apparently get a free one year warranty then in the box this is your charger cable that can go into the computer or what I did is I used a phone charger and plugged it into the wall some extra propellers the drone itself where the battery goes there was a little rubber tab that was sticking up here I think it was just to prevent it from going all the way in in shipment but you just remove that little tab then you kind of push down and there's a little clip that's a clip right there you kind of push that down with your thumb and the battery slips out only goes in one way that highly recommend that you use the guards for the propellers especially in the beginning otherwise you'll break them off and they just simply slide on they don't click in place once you have those in place you're all set there is a little antenna wire if you can see there it is I just kind of straightened that out a little bit then the controller is underneath all of this and this is what got tricky for me before I go any further you do have to charge both units they're both rechargeable with the same cord it'll take I don't know an hour or so to charge there's the charging port for the controller you can also hook up your phone to this however this kind of clips up and then this slides however for my iPhone I don't trust it to stay in place because it doesn't really click real well now I do have a cover on mine so what I'm going to do is is maybe put rubber bands around here at an angle so that I know that it'll stay in place and I'll do a subsequent video once I get to that point um, but right now let's just fly the drone because you can take video and still pictures with it so I'm just gonna do a flying lesson so the first step is you turn on the drone there's a little button right here push and hold it until the lights LED lights come on you can see they're flashing now then you turn on your controller and there's a little switch right back here same side as the charging port do a little beep the first time you push this down, down arrow and somehow that gets everything coordinated things you'll need are these little pads and they slide like I'm sliding my thumb up down left right same thing on this side these other uh, arrows on the outside control other functions but for basic flight you just use the inside ones uh, this one will give elevation or it'll bring it down and then left right pivots the craft this way on this side this will give you up is forward so it's going to tilt it forward and fly back and then tilt and fly left right but it's going to bank turn to initially get the uh, propellers going you push this up arrow and it's going to stay stationary on the ground so let me move it to the floor actually you have an emergency stop here but you're only supposed to use it for emergencies because it'll drop like a rock but I'll push that now shuts it off so again to start I'm pushing that up arrow 
Then I'm going to slide this thumb up, and that's what will give us some height. And now it's going to freeze right there. That's just about a foot off the ground. Okay, now, if it drifts, which it probably will the first time, to change, to make it stable, it's the arrows, not the pad. So if you want it to go more to the left, you'll tap that arrow, and each time you tap it, you'll see it'll start drifting over now. Well, I don't want it to do that. I want to get a level, so I'm going to do the right arrow. Left. And now I'm going to do the forward arrow. And you can see it's pretty stable right like that. Okay, now I'm going to fly. So if I want to go higher, again, push this upwards. Let me... So I'm pushing up. And once you let it go, then it'll hover at that height. So on the right hand side, I'm going to... So what I did is I slid my thumb to the right. And bring it backwards. Again, that's sliding my thumb down. On this side, this is what pivots it. That's right, left. Bring it back to me a little bit. So again, I'm going to slide my thumb to the right and it turns. So now forward is towards me. Back is still back. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm pivoting the ship. Pivoting the drone, I should say. So if I want more elevation, again, I just push this thumb up. And wherever you stop pushing is the elevation you'll get. Now you can do tricks and things, but that I'm not covering in this video. This is just to initially get it flying. reason you want those bumpers on there. Let me see if I can take it over to this box and bump it. So if I was flying and I bump that, see, no problem. Didn't turn anything up. So I think it says you can get about 10 minutes of flying time. I've been mostly trying to keep it um, so that the front is like I'm looking out at it. I will make one with the camera, but I just wanted to uh, give some instruction because I struggle a little bit with these buttons and getting it set up. It will fly outside. I took it outside just a little bit. Um, but I want to get more practice before I really go on an adventure like that. It does have a return function. So outdoors, because it's so small, say you got 50, 60 feet away, I could see losing it in your sight path. And uh, you can push a button and it will return to where it uh, launched from. I have not tried that yet, though. So landing, push the down button. And if you hold the down button down once you're on the ground, it stops. And again, that's the left hand side sliding this down. To restart, you push the up button, which is not part of that pad. That starts the propellers. And then you'll just slide this up for elevation. Again, right. It's just right on. Let me get back here. Right is on this side, you just slide it that way, or left, you'll slide your thumb that way. Forward is up, back is just pull your thumb towards you. Again, to pivot, it's, the, it's this button, pivoting, left, pivoting right, elevation, and landing is down. Hope that helps. 
I'm enjoying it and I'll do a follow-up lesson with some of the other functions. Again, it does have the camera. You have a view from the drone itself out and down on the screen of your phone.